Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Wilson Pro Staff RF97 Autograph Tennis Racket. Wilson with the help of Roger Federer has once again redefined how the Pro Staff family looks, feels and plays. The RF97 itself hasn't changed in terms of specs, the balance, weight and swing weight still remain the same. Technologically, the only change is the removal of Kevlar and the graphite braid, which brings some comfort back to the racket. This new engineered paint job not only looks cool, it has a certain tackiness to it that feels great in the hand. Last but not least are two cool features on this racket. Wilson has spared no expense with this racket and they want you to know it. Pro staff on the side of the throat is laser engraved onto every racket. And just to let you know who helped with these rackets, Roger has his picture of him on the inner throat. All right, Vinny, we've been hitting a lot more lately, and I've been noticing that when we did the play test of this, you were hitting a lot better, I think, than even your own personal racket. Is that the same feeling you're kind of getting with this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really liked the racket. Uh, it gave me a lot of more control over my ball. My slices were staying court, and uh, I like to attack a lot, so my balls were staying court uh, inside those lines. And uh, I really would advise the, the player who chooses the racket is able to really generate their own spin and really attack the ball uh, because it's not a racket that helps you with that so I would advise you for the player to be a really attack player but it's a really good racket, it's, it gives you that firm feeling and it really maintains your ball inside the court. Well I was in the video for the review for the other pro staffs but I had the chance of hitting with it and comparing to this one I actually prefer that one a lot it gives me a lot more control and uh, the weight of the racket really influenced it. Uh, I'm an attack player, so it really helped me to maintain those balls inside the court. And I actually prefer that one over the other ones. All right, Eric, so this is clearly the previous generation was one of the best selling rackets for Wilson. How do you think this one's going to fare in comparison? I think it's going to do great. Uh, I think it's got a lot of updates to it. Uh, first of all, cosmetic. I think the cosmetic looks great. Uh, and then, comparison with the last generation, I think. You know, even though it's spec'd out around the same, in hand it did feel a little more headlight, so maybe a little bit more usable to a lot of players. Probably my favorite thing about this racket was the stability. Uh, this, this racket does weigh a lot, but with that weight you get a lot of stability, uh, and a very, very nice feel for the ball. Uh, yeah, this racket is going to be suited more for a higher level player, um, probably 4 or 5 plus. Uh, some 4.0s can probably handle it based on, on their strength. and. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's a, it's a great racket, but it's going to be more for advanced players. All right, next up we've got Anna. I know usually you play with your head prestige racket, but you thought that this might have had a little bit more feel for you. Uh, what else did you like more about it? Um, I absolutely like that it had more feel. It wasn't nearly as stiff as my um, prestige. Um, I felt like while I was hitting my forehands and my backhands, I, I hit with a lot of spin. Um, it just came a little more natural with this racket. Um, everything felt a little a lot more smooth. How would you compare this racket to the rest of the rackets in the line? Because I play with a lot of spin um, and, I, and I drive the ball, I would prefer this racket in comparison to the others. They all felt really good. I liked, I, I really did like all of them. Um, the other ones just, it felt like I had to use more of my body to make the ball drive more, which is, which is fine. Um, but this one, it just, with the spin and how I wanted to hit the ball, it came a lot more natural um, than the other rackets. I don't know if it's because the other rackets felt a little light, but, um, but this one just kind of, it was just easier to, to drive. The RF97 was definitely one of my favorite rackets. Um, I'm probably gonna end up getting one myself. You can really tell that this is a great racket for advanced players because that the weight gives you that level of stability and control and just the sheer precision that you can get with this racket off your ground strokes is, is crazy. I'm not the best volleyer in the world, I'm, I'm quite unnatural when it comes to it, but with this racket and the weight and the headlight balance, you can really, even if I hit it a little bit off center, the headlight balance helps me to maneuver the racket into place and then the weight of the racket just being there helps me put a very crisp and clean volley there. I love the control of this racket. Thanks for tuning in to our Tennis Express Racket Review and be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest news here at Tennis Express.